Hi everybody. What's the difference between hominids and hominins? And what do they have to do with present day human beings? The difference is in more than just the one letter at the end. That's what this video is about, so stay tuned. I'm Sue Hyla Smith from Rise of Truth, where our goal is to leave no stone unturned in our search for the absolute. Today we're going to take a quick look at the classification of hominids and hominins, two groups that are often confused with one another. By the end of this short video, you'll have a good and basic understanding of the differences between the two. I'll also have flashcards for you at the end of the video that clearly delineate the differences between hominids and hominins, so you'll be able to easily distinguish between them. Then we'll talk about how this classification relates to the first intellectual human. So please like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified of new videos. Now let's get to the difference between hominids and hominins. We're going to focus on the members of each category so you can distinguish between the groups when they're mentioned or referred to. The following definitions are based on the newer classification of hominids and hominins. Hominids include the great apes and also humans. The members of this group include bonobos, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans. Those are the five members of this group, the hominids. So it includes the present day great apes and humans, but also all of the extinct species from all of these groups. Okay, so make sure you get that. Five members of the hominid family, five. Let's go over them one more time. Bonobos, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans. All species from these groups that are alive today and all species from these groups that are extinct. So hominids in terms of taxonomic classification are a family and hominins are a tribe or subgroup of that family. Hominids are the bigger group and hominins are the much smaller group. Who are the hominins? Feel free to let us know what you think they are in the comments below. Hominins are defined as all members of the human clade after the split from the chimpanzee. A clade is a group of organisms that have evolved from a common ancestor. So again, we're talking about the members of a lineage after the chimpanzee branched off. And of this lineage, the only surviving members are present day humans. The remainder of these members are extinct. So all hominins include all of what we would call human-like species, those more closely related to humans than any of the other members of the hominid family that we mentioned earlier. But for the hominins, there are many of hominin species that date back millions of years. And some of the examples include Australopithecus, Afarensis, you may have heard of Lucy who is from this group, Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, and Homo neanderthalensis, commonly known as the Neanderthal man, with all of these species being extinct. Still, they are from the hominin family, and only we, the Homo sapiens group, remain. It's important to recognize that all hominins are hominids, but very few hominids are hominins. Hominins are a subgroup of the bigger group hominids. So let's go over it one more time, starting with hominids. Bonobos, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans. Hominins are all extinct human-like species and present-day species. A good way to remember the distinction between the two groups is that the term hominin sounds more like the word humans. So you can remember it in this way, that hominins sounds like humans. So hominins, humans, and their human-like ancestors, and hominids are the five-member group that we discussed earlier. But do remember that the hominid family includes humans and their human-like ancestors. And if you want to join a community of learners, people just like you, please subscribe to our Facebook group, Rise of Truth, where we'll continue to discuss matters of science and religion. If you have any questions about this or any other topic, or anything on the issue of science and religion and whether they really do get along, then please do leave comments below the video. 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.